Over the years, WWE has been home to a multitude of powerhouses, each leaving a lasting legacy with their displays of raw power. You've seen them lift opponents like ragdolls, slam bodies through tables, and toss grown men across the ring. In the world of WWE, strength isn't just about muscle. It's about charisma, presence, and the power to awe a crowd. Imagine a man lifting a 500-pound behemoth on his shoulders or another bending steel bars with his bare hands. These aren't scenes from a superhero movie, but actual moments in WWE history. The sheer strength exhibited by these athletes has left fans and fellow wrestlers alike in stunned disbelief. From legends like Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant to modern behemoths like Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar, the list of strongmen is long and varied. But who truly stands above the rest? 10. The Rock Dwayne Douglas Johnson, also known by his ring name The Rock, is an American and Canadian actor, producer, and semi-retired professional wrestler signed with WWE. The guy is The Rock. Can you believe he has defeated the man that never tapped, John Cena? That match was the greatest match I have ever seen, and that match is in the list of greatest WWE, WWF matches of the top 10 list. The eight time and 358 days holding WWE champion is the most money-taking superstar in WWE history. The electrifying man with the electrifying moves and the electrifying theme song is gonna rock on WWE. He is semi-retired and his age is 45 years, but he can win the WWE Championship, WWE Universal Championship, and many more. Nine, Brock Lesnar. Brock Edward Lesnar is an American professional wrestler and former amateur wrestler, professional American football player, and mixed martial artist who is currently signed to WWE. Former UFC heavyweight champion, respected by every WWE figure, including Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, and Bill Goldberg, to name a few. Lesnar is still dominating WWE. He is fast, strong, rough, and can even do a shooting star press. Brock Lesnar has actually deadlifted 1,000 pounds, which is way more than the combined weight of Big Show, 440 pounds, and Mark Henry, 400 pounds. If you knew this, no one would say that John Cena or Kane is stronger than Brock Lesnar. Lesnar can almost defeat anyone other than Bill Goldberg, because Bill Goldberg is his biggest rival ever since he stepped into the WWE ring for the first time. The guy's a machine, Proof is his UFC workout video. Apart from Cesaro today, no other younger WWE performers possess such versatility. Many have come and gone, but none like him. Eight, Bill Goldberg. Bill Goldberg is an American actor, former professional football player, and semi-retired professional wrestler. Goldberg has not lost a single match in his career in WCW or WWE that was ever conducted without foul play. He is undisputed when the match is one-on-one -on -one and played fair. Within a single year, he defeated every single superstar in WWE, including Brock Lesnar. Actually, if you tune into YouTube, you can see Brock running. The man can still do a backflip at this age. His record of 173 to zero in WCW reigns supreme. The streak would not have been broken if that wrestler hadn't shocked him with an electric rod during the match. Seven, John Cena. John Felix Anthony, Cena Jr., born April 23, 1977, is an American professional wrestler, rapper, actor, and reality television show host signed to WWE, where he is assigned to the SmackDown brand. John Cena is the most popular and also the strongest wrestler. He can lift anyone on his shoulders, as you've seen when Cena lifted Edge and The Big Show at the same time at WrestleMania. He has also beaten Kane, Roman Reigns, and Randy Orton at the same time at Fastlane in a WWE World and Heavyweight Championship match. He never gives up. John Cena has not lost even a single fair fight, and he defeated Mark Henry, world's strongest man in arm wrestling. Even Mark Henry salutes him. Most importantly, he has never tapped out in his entire career. Six, The Undertaker. Mark William Calloway, born March the 24th, 1965, 
better known by his ring name, The Undertaker, is an American semi-retired professional wrestler currently signed to WWE, where he has worked since 1990, making him the company's longest tenured in-ring performer. In his prime, The Undertaker was extremely strong. He is tall and has that never give up aura around him. The fight, determination, and heart say it all. He may not be the strongest physically, but he's endured 25 plus years of wrestling after hip surgeries, broken noses, concussions, and knee injuries. A broken orbital bone, broken nose, severe concussion, plus bleeding like a broken dam, and he still carried on until the end. Five, Mark Henry. Henry is an American powerlifter, Olympic weightlifter, strongman and professional wrestler who is currently signed to WWE. He has broken records in the big three and won competitions by miles, drug free. He was stronger in high school than most of the dedicated strength trainers you will come across in a gym. Mark Henry can bench press over 700 pounds. He world's strongest slam big show, 485 pounds held across his chest, picked up over his head and slammed and he cleaned and pressed 451 pounds with the greatest of ease and held it up there for over five seconds. Four, Kane. Glenn Thomas Jacobs is an American professional wrestler, insurer, and actor. He works for WWE and is best known by his ring name Kane. As a fan of Kane, I must say Kane is the best. History also shows that Kane is indeed the best. I'm really unhappy that Kane was never defeated by any other wrestler. He was defeated only by WWE scripts and WWE writers. If you watch Kane's matches, you'll see that every time Kane is about to win, someone distracts him and Kane loses. Three, The Great Kali. Dilip Singh Rana, better known by his ring name, The Great Kali, is an Indian promoter, actor, power lifter, and professional wrestler best known for his time with WWE. The trick about Kali is that he never trained. More than one person has said that if the Indian giant Kali had ever trained, he probably could have set every strength record there was. Unfortunately, his size also created a huge strain on his joints, meaning that he had little flexibility. He benches 800 pounds and can lift 600 pounds five times. He was also a bodybuilder. He is the strongest and the greatest WWE wrestler. He has defeated very powerful wrestlers such as Big Show, Mark Henry, Undertaker, John Cena, Kane, Batista, etc. Two, Big Show. Paul Randall White Jr. is an American professional wrestler and actor, better known by his ring name, Big Show. In their prime, I think only the Big Show could have handled Andre the Giant, definitely between the two of them. Big Show is so strong he can flip over a Jeep weighing 14.34 pounds. He has this KO punch that finishes everyone, even the great Kali does not stand a chance. He can lift any wrestler in the WWE today. The Big Show can deadlift 950 pounds and bench 675 pounds. I saw him quickly bench two sets of 60 reps each with 315 as a warm-up. It impressed the heck out of me. On Andre the Giant. Andre René Rusimov, known as Andre the Giant, was a French professional wrestler and actor. I'd say he's the strongest wrestler of all time. He's an actual giant. Suffering from gigantism, his strength has never been matched. Also, I do believe newer athletes have much more advanced steroids. He was a monster in the 70s and 80s. I synthetic. This guy legit picked up 2,000 pounds one time. He picked up cars with ease. So please tell how this guy is here. Other wrestlers actually say they thought he would kill them with his strength. Big Show has been my idol. In my personal opinion, Big Show is the best wrestler in the world and he is the strongest. Come on, people. Become a fan now. Who do you think is the strongest? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to support me by like and share the video to help us. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.